Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so, the Dokkan Now Volume 5 was recently announced for Global. Um, I mean, I say for Global, obviously it's a YouTube video, but Dokkan Now is pretty much primarily only about Global. The most recent one, I believe, was the one about Heroes, which of course had been revealed on JP already. And then it was kind of supposed to be a surprise that the Dokkan Now was going to reveal that Heroes was being released on Global at the same time. Uh, of course, that got <laughs> spoiled unintentionally by the fact that a bunch of people who uploaded the Super Attack animations of the Super Saiyan 4s got copyright claimed because of Dokkan Now, basically telling everybody that they were going to be in the Dokkan Now. But I digress. So... Dokkan Now Volume 5 is coming up for Global in the next few days and we are, at this point have no idea what it's going to be. So it seems fairly logical that it's going to be some sort of GT bosses unit. Now whether it's an LR or a Dokkan Fest remains to be seen but I think we're probably leaning more towards LR because this is the kind of celebration with the dual Dokkan Fest especially where we would expect the follow up or like part 2 banner if you want to call it that to be a legendary summon banner and it would make sense with the fact that you know Dokkan has released these two categories at the same time GT heroes and GT bosses but GT heroes I mean clearly far outclasses the GT bosses category because if we have a look at the category here obviously it's very small especially when I mean there's not really even much point looking at the SSRs so when you consider the TURs and the LRs it's a very very small category whereas you know GT Heroes, not only is the category slightly bigger overall, but they obviously have a 170 leader. Um, both the banner units from the Goku and the Vegeta banners are really, really good support units that work really well on that team. Uh, B Pan's getting an easy A, all that good stuff. So, GT Heroes is in a very good place. Obviously, the OG Super Saiyan 4's easy A as well, can't forget them. So, like, all the new units that have come out in this celebration, or, you know, the easy A's, they don't really count as new units, but have been ridiculously good, and they're all on the GT Heroes category. So, GT Bosses needs to do something in order to be buffed. So, I do think that the Dokkan Now is going to reveal uh, the part two, I guess, of the GT celebration um, in all its details. So, we could see an easy A for a GT unit. We could potentially even see an easy A for an LR. Um, but I think they will reveal the new uh, summonable LR and they will be a summonable GT bosses leader. Now obviously this is just my opinion, this is just me speculating. Do not take this as gospel if it turns out to not be this at all then I mean hey I guess I, guess I was just wrong but I'm just working with what I think is going to be the case and I'm going to lay out some details and some stuff about why I think it's going to be a specific thing. But at this point, uh, let me just remind you guys, if you are enjoying the video, you enjoy discussions like this, uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like the video. We are on the road to 10K subs. We are so close now. I set the goal of reaching it by the anniversary and we are still over a full month away and we are not super far away from reaching our goal. So if you are enjoying the content, do consider subscribing. But yeah, so, Summonable GT bosses LR, because I'm assuming it's going to be an LR, so we're going to work off of that theory, right? So who is it going to be? Now, I've seen a lot of people say they want to see a baby, because we haven't had a new baby for quite a long time. Um, obviously, with the same name update, even though it's available on JP, you can't link the same name units. So realistically, we do need another really good, like a good link partner for... Um, LR Super Baby 2 because he does have some okay link partners on the teams that you use him on but on this GT bosses team specifically he doesn't have like a super perfect link partner um, obviously Super 17 is uh, my main pick you guys know I love Super 17 um, and then really the next the only other one I would consider to be sort of LR worthy uh, would be Sin Shenron or Omega Shenron I feel like it would probably be a Sin that transforms into Omega but it could be a standalone Omega uh, he's, uh, physical Sin Shenron, by the way, is definitely one of those units that I figure could get an easy A if there's going to be an easy A alongside whatever comes for this uh, part two thing. So when we look at all these units, um, I do personally believe that it's going to be Super 17. Like, if we have a look at some of the units that are available, like, you know, we only have the one Super Baby 2 Great Ape, uh, the LR, and then there's the Int one. 
you can reverse the int one and he's just super baby two but i mean especially nowadays of how hard some of the content is getting i mean this super baby two even as a tur isn't particularly good so reversing him to his uh ur or like ssr state is not really going to be particularly beneficial for you um, but yeah, as you can see, we, I mean, we don't have a ton of baby cards, so a new baby card is definitely possible. When we look at 17, uh, especially like Super 17, we have the Dokon Fest one, and then we have the two uh, SRs that awaken from these base, like the um, SR uh, Hellfire 17 and the SR 17 that awaken into Super 17. They're the only ones that we have. We haven't had a new one for ages. This like unit is years old now. Um, so we definitely are due for a new Super 17. Uh, and then of course Sin Shenron, I mean this physical one is the only SSR one. Um, and he's been around for a long, long time. Um, and then of course Omega, the STR one got his Easy A quite a while ago now. And the physical one is quite outdated. We did just get the Shadow Dragons army card, which, I mean that can go one of two ways. Because you could either say that it's now less likely they're going to do a Sin or Omega because they just released a Shadow Dragons card or in the same vein you could argue that it's more likely because then that uh, free to play Shadow Dragon army LR is probably going to be that new LR's best link partner so they would obviously work super well on a rotation together but there is a reason why I think it's going to be the um, Super 17 and it comes down to the units that are available like right now right so baby for example baby has an lr um he doesn't have a dokon fest exclusive like this super baby 2 is in the general pool you can pull him on pretty much any banner um super 17 uh, obviously has the one dokon fest unit he doesn't have an lr um and then sin Shenron has a couple of dokon fest units if you include the omega and then the lr shadow dragon army just released so i think a lot of people are thinking that baby is a big contender because obviously baby is one of the big gt villains that everyone really considers as much as i love super 17 like his arc is really short he's not like super popular everybody like often thinks of baby as like the big th i mean he really kind of is the first big main villain of gt and then Omega is like the final boss, like enemy of GT. But the thing is, and this is why I brought up some of these other tabs here. If we have a look at Bojack, for example, and the way the game has been going like recently. So Bojack didn't have a Dokon Fest exclusive, already had an LR, and then he got a Dokon Fest exclusive. And that made the LR really good again. It brought the LR back to prominence because now on that Space Traveling Warriors team, you can run the LR alongside the STR Bojack and that rotation is incredibly good. Uh, Broly is another good example when we consider Z Broly the last card that he got was an LR because it was the tech LR Broly um, and then when he finally got a new card it was the Dokon Fest Broly for Saiyan Day so when we look at Baby uh, Baby has an LR but not a Dokon Fest so I feel like he kind of fits in that same vein right the same kind of theme that they've been going with so I definitely think we could see a Baby Dokon Fest fairly soon uh, they could obviously do that alongside either a new Super Saiyan 4 Goku or with the way they've been doing these kind of things recently where they did a new Janemba and rather than another new Gogeta for that Jewel Dokon Fest they released a Pycon. I could see them doing a GT Jewel Dokon Fest that was like a Super Baby that maybe transforms to Super Baby 2 and then an Oob uh, or like Oob to Maju, kind of like the LR but as a Dokon Fest um because again like whilst he's not the most hyped character he doesn't have a lot of representation and a good dokon fest card for him would be very good and then obviously for that celebration they could easy a this in one they could easy a the str majub like all that kind of stuff so i feel like the next baby card that we're going to get is going to be a dokon fest exclusive and then the same with like sin he hasn't had a new card for a long time but because sin is often paired alongside super saiyan 4 gogeta who is a big sell like big money card i could imagine the next omega or sin that transforms into omega being a dual dokon fest alongside a super saiyan 4 gogeta especially if it's going to be a sin that transforms into omega he could be in a dual dokon fest alongside a super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta who fuse into super saiyan 4 gogeta and then at that point we're talking like that would probably be a dual dokon fest of dokon fest lrs so it seems the most likely out of those options then 
that the remaining one that could drop as a legendary summon unit for GT bosses would be Super 17. So the way I would love to see this card done is as a Hellfighter 17 and then GT 17. Although the GT version of 17, that's this one here with the trench coat. This AGL one was often referred to as trench coat 17 when it came out. Um, the game doesn't make any distinction between GT. So he's not called like Android 18 brackets GT. He's just called Android, uh, sorry, 17. It's just called Android 17. Um, but yeah, it would be Android 17 and Hellfire 17. And then they fuse into Super 17. I think that would be really, really good. Uh, one of my favorite blueprints for category leaders, because bear in mind, if he's the summonable LR for GT heroes. Now, recently we've seen a lot of summonable LRs have like 130% and 4 key for a category that already exists and already has a Dokon Fest leader. But we have seen for categories that don't have a Dokon Fest leader, like when the LR full power Jiren dropped, he was the Universe 11 category leader and he actually has a 170 leader skill. So this LR, even if it's not Super 17, if it's going to be a GT boss's lead, it could very easily be a 170 lead. So obviously that would be very good. But my favorite build for these type of category leaders now is the classic cooler and now like Bojack template where I would design these guys as the 17 and Hellfighter 17 um, have a support, probably for GT bosses, I guess. Maybe you could throw androids in there, but we would want them to be themed more around the GT bosses team. And then once you get to the specific turn or you filled the specific condition or whatever, even potentially available from slot one, depending on how generous they want to be, you can then use the active skill. Then we get to see the animation from the show, which obviously... Dokon has been doing a great job of recreating the scenes from the anime and in some cases making them look even better. Having the scene where they fuse into Super 17 as their active skill and then obviously he would be Super 17 from there on out. Um, hopefully they would fix the major issue of him not having big bad bosses because these two that awaken from the SRs have big bad bosses but the Dokon Fest one doesn't. And obviously with the link level update, an extreme unit who you'd want to use on a bunch of teams, not having big bad bosses is definitely a detriment nowadays because that link at level 10 is basically pretty much the best link in the game. So you would want him to have that. So, I mean, there you go. That's I feel like it's going to be an LR Super 17. Now, like I said, I could be completely wrong. It could be baby after all it could be sin or omega or it could be not gt related at all because that's the other thing we have to bear in mind there is the possibility that there is no part two to this gt celebration on jp or global and then the dokon now is revealing a global first and it could be something different something we talked about months ago maybe that was going to fill in the gap here because we didn't know we were going to get the gt stuff at the same time it could be like a global first god goku or something crazy like that right so it could be anything but i think that it's probably going to be the gt boss's lead and i think it could and should be super 17 but let me know what you guys think down below obviously like i said it's me speculating so there is no wrong opinion like if you think it's going to be a baby just because i'm saying there is already an lr and there isn't a dokon fest doesn't mean that he couldn't get another lr there's multiple lrs of the same character already although admittedly some of those do have dokon fest as well but anything is possible at this point so let me know down below who do you think it's going to be what do you think they're going to do um and yeah are they going to pull something out of left field and it be a global first imagine if it was the gt boss's lead but it was global first because <laughs> jp has the shadow dragon lr so they just they, that doesn't come out on global for a while so they just give global the actual summonable leader that would be insane like this this celebration would have gone from being a everyone crying global shaft at the beginning when they didn't announce all the events straight away to like global being technically the better version so that would be pretty insane but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button and again do subscribe to the channel if you are new and you enjoy the content i'm still keeping up at least one video a day there's a whole bunch of other stuff i need to do i still need to upload a bunch of the no item runs that i've got recorded but i've been super super busy lately but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm still having a ton of fun and I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me lately. So that is going to be it from me. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.